Hey guys, welcome back to Luke's Goldies. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the most humane and peaceful way to euthanize your goldfish. And for those that don't know what euthanizing means, uh, that means like purposefully killing your goldfish. So I explained in my previous video the reason why you would want to purposefully kill your goldfish. Uh, basically, if it's living a miserable life, if it's in a very bad uh, health condition that you can't fix it from, and you've determined that it's, it's just suffering and it's better to put it out of its misery. Um, I'm going to basically explain to you now the most humane, the most painless way that you can just kind of set them off. You can, you can let them go uh, without, without hurting them. Because, you know, they're, they're, you could euthanize your goldfish in a very painful way, but that's, that's not ideal. You don't want to do that. Because um, I've made videos like this before on my other platforms. People said, oh, why don't you just take it and throw it in the trash can? Why don't you just, you know, take it out of the water and it'll die? Uh, yeah, you could do that. That would euthanize the fish, but that's that's cruel. You don't want to do that. If the fish is suffering, uh, and you love that fish, and you you uh, you want to be nice to that fish and put them out in the most peaceful way, uh, I think it's very important to to correctly euthanize them. So uh, I've euthanized multiple of my fish in the past uh, for multiple different kinds of reasons, um, but at a certain point when a fish is in bad health, as I explained in my last video, uh, you should euthanize them. So this is how you should do it. So basically, it's, it's very simple. What you're going to need to do is get a little Tupperware, any, any random Tupperware with a lid, and then you're also going to need to buy some clove oil. So I can actually, I can link this down below in the description, uh, but this clove oil, it almost acts like an anesthesia for the fish. You can actually, sometimes you use it for procedures on the fish, but uh, in high enough concentrations for an extended amount of time, it will actually kill them. So just like on a human, if you overdose a human on anesthesia, they'll die. If you overdose a goldfish in clove oil, they too will die. If you give a little bit, it can kind of knock them out and make them loopy uh, for like a little surgery or procedure. Uh, but if you overdo it, then they'll, they'll peacefully pass away. Uh, so the way you want to do it is basically you want to fill a container like this halfway with water or maybe yeah, roughly halfway with water. And then you want to get the clove oil and really just pour a lot of it in there. I'd say at least you could, you could do like 50 drops or so, maybe even more. And you just want to shake that up there, shake that up, and make sure that like you're almost going to get like a cloudy mixture in this water. So when you add the water and you add this and you you shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, you're going to see it's almost like a emulsion of the little pieces of clo little droplets of clove oil in the water. And you want it to be very thoroughly mixed throughout because you're going to take this and slowly pour it in over a long period of time into the container where you're going to euthanize your fish. So you want to take some tank water and put it in, in a bucket like this. And then you want to fill it up maybe a gallon or so and just have the fish in there. And when you, when you, have, when you have it with the tank water, you're not going to shock the fish. The fish is still extremely comfortable. And then basically after you, you put like fill this thing halfway with water, put 50, maybe even more drops in there. Um, basically, you're going to pour just a little bit in there and mix it around, have an air stone in there. And wait for the fish to get a little loopy, a little tired. So only pour a little bit in there um, because you want the fish to kind of get a little a little tired, a little loopy before you, you give enough for a lethal dose. Because sometimes if you give it all at once, that actually might be a little painful, a little stressful for the fish. Um, so give a little bit at first. Uh, let some time go by, 15, 20 minutes, and see if the fish has slowed down. Maybe give a little, little more and then see if the fish is really slowed down. And then once you determine the fish has like really slowed down after the period of maybe like uh, 45 minutes post giving a little more, uh, then you can just pour the rest of it in there and give it, you know, over an hour or so. And that fish will definitely, definitely be gone by then. Uh, it's definitely a sad thing, but it's definitely something I've had to do in the past. And I think it's just good to let you guys know that if you're going to be a goldfish keeper for a long time, there is a significant probability that you're going to have to euthanize a fish, especially if you have a lot of fish. You may not have to do it if you only have one tank, but if you're a big goldfish keeper like me, uh, there's a significant chance it might be in your interest to, to have to euthanize one of your fish that's in very poor health and no chance of recovery. Uh, but yeah, clove oil, shake it up in here, get a good emulsion, and then fill up a bucket with, a, with some water, put an air stone in there for the fish, and make sure it's tank water so you don't shock the fish. And then pour a little bit in, get left, I can get a little tired. Then once you notice they're really, really kind of loopy in stage, just pour the rest in there. Make sure it's a lethal dose and uh, that fish will die. Now, uh, unfortunately, I am going to have to do this to my goldfish Georgie. 
Uh, I'm not gonna record the process because I just I don't want to post a video of me killing a fish. Um, I think this is educational enough. You guys can you guys can tell like what the process is. I'm just gonna do exactly as I explained. Fill this and put the fish in here and add the clove oil. Um, I am considering maybe. Oh, oh. And by the way, I'm doing a water change right now. That's why you see my tank's all empty. I'm doing a water change. Um, but yeah, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna post a video of me actually doing it. But I am gonna post this video explaining how I'm gonna do it. And uh, hopefully for anyone out there that's uh, you know come to my unfortunate situation, uh, needs to figure out what to do with their fish, how to kill it. Uh, peacefully for the betterment of the fish, uh, this is how you should do it. Uh, and also, I am, I'm somewhat considering posting an autopsy of the fish just for educational purposes, but I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys actually want to see that. Um, I'd be comfortable with doing it because I think it'd be good for just people to realize the location of the swim bladder and just what it looks like on the inside of the fish. But also, if you guys don't want to see that, I'm perfectly okay with just not posting that. Uh, but if you could just let me let me know in the comments below are you interested in seeing like a little dissection a little autopsy of Georgie just so we can see like basically just for I don't know just just, just to see what it looks like on the inside um, but if you guys want to see that let me know I haven't I haven't euthanized him yet but I will this week just because he's really suffering right now it's not it's not it's not right to keep him alive anymore uh, but thank you guys so much for watching um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will uh, I will let you guys know uh, once I once I let Georgie go. Thank you for watching.